Welcome back to the show. I'm Darius, a.k.a. Gilgamesh. If I knew you was going to do that, I would have said Lance off the top, and I would have... Don't even worry about it, man. It's your boy, TK, a.k.a. the Mighty Morphin, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle, Van Gogh. I mean, we can do it over. Yeah. Because <laughs> that was ridiculous. <laughs> Just whatever you want to do, please. <laughs> I'm cool with that. Yeah, I said it right the first time. Okay. okay. Money. Thank you for joining us on the show. This is Mind the Gap. What's up? Thank you for coming back. Or if this is your first time, welcome What's to the happening? show. Um, we have a contest going mm-hmm. for, uh, for free merch in free honor merch. of our first year. First year. That's yeah. right. Just leave a comment down in uh, down below of your favorite episode and why it's your favorite episode and why do you like us and the favorite comment that we like. Yeah. We'll, we'll get a, give get, you a shirt. Yeah, get a free merch. Get your details and send you a shirt out. Yep. And if you want to know how to follow us, make sure you hit the links below the video and yep, yep. go to Patreon and become a patron. And as you're watching right now, hit the button to subscribe and hit the bell. All right. So a, lot, a lot's been going on. Yeah. Um, first of all, let's talk about your boy. My boy. Your boy, Andrew Gillum. Andrew. If you don't know who Andrew AG. Gillum is, he was, he's the, well, now he's the former mayor of Tallahassee. Mm-hmm. Um, he resigned. He uh, but uh, I became aware of him a couple years ago when he was running for governor mm-hmm. against, um, what's his name, Ron DeSantis. Yeah, something like that. I think he lost by what, like less than? Like 20. 30, I think it was like 34,000. I thought it was less than 20. It could have been. Whatever. I, I, I but he, he he lost by a low margin. Mm-hmm. Um and that was back when, like, the, the whole thing was, it was, the big ones was Beto O'Rourke. They were trying to get him in uh, Texas. Um, what's her name? The lady in Georgia? Both ladies yeah. in Georgia. Yeah, I can't remember her name, yeah. though. Uh, yeah, because one of the dudes, they should, uh, one of them was running against Stacey one of the Adams. That was Stacey over. Abrams, I think his name. Yeah, Stacey Abrams. Stacey, 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 Stacey the guy Abrams. she was running against was over the voting. Yeah, thing. that whole yeah. thing. And then Andrew Gillum was trying to take out my man DeSantis yeah. and, uh, Florida, so he was he was a big hopeful. Yeah, and he was like, entertaining yeah. too. Yeah, he yeah he was yeah, he had a, clap back. Yeah. Yeah. I always get him mixed up with um the other black guy that be on. He 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 does the 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 circuits on the news. Um, but he look he looked kind of like him when people get him confused. Up, I show you his picture. I have him up there too. You because I mean, if I, you I see it, you be like, oh yeah, I, I know that dude. <laughs> um, but recently uh, he got he got caught up in some scandal. He got caught up in some. <laughs> A little, little sniff. He was uh, caught in a hotel room. I think it was two other dudes. Yeah, he was caught in a hotel room with two other guys with uh, three baggies Yo, of methamphetamine. Of methamphetamine. One yeah. of them, they believe, overdosed on methamphetamine. He, they say he recovered. He's, a, he's uh, at the hospital now. Mm. And when and the police got there, uh, Andrew was too drunk to have a conversation. So... so I mean, I don't, I don't know if he partook in something else, but he said he didn't. Yeah. What he said was he was attending a wed, a wedding, and his, it was with his friends, and he got too drunk. He didn't use any drugs. See, and, I didn't uh, know all that. Yeah, so they said that somebody that he, uh, one of the friends came in like late. I want to say eleven p.m. came in, and uh, I forgot the dude's name. The friend was uh, passed out, having trouble breathing on the bed, mm-hmm. and Andrew was in the bathroom uh, vomiting. Uh, so the guy called the the ambulance or whatever yeah. for them to come in, and then that's how that happened. We say it was at the wedding, but the guy that overdosed, uh, who's quote unquote a male escort, yeah, for uh, a the bl- plot thickens. The plot thickens. Did you know that? No. Oh. oh yeah. So the dude, well, the dude, I don't know if he still does it because he's engaged. But he was uh, but his uh, profile was up at the time of this incident, even though it's down now. The he dude was, who overdosed? Yeah, if I'm not mistaken, the dude that overdosed, and he said he didn't know nothing about a wedding. But the dude, he's engaged, see, and he he said they've been friends for like uh, a year or two, if I'm not mistaken. See, that's a whole only people that know the truth, or people that was in there. People room, that was right? in the room. So, that's what's going around. I didn't, I didn't even want to get into all that because I didn't, I didn't want to put that on that man's name. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, that was getting into it. it we can get into and it. Though, but it I didn't know a, all it was that. on a website called Rent Boys or something. I don't the, know. The dude that overdosed? The dude that overdosed. He was on Rent Boys. Mm-hmm. That's just not a good look all around. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, anyway, you slice that. It's... Yeah. It's a bad piece. Yeah. It's like it just doesn't yeah. even make sense. They, they find you in there drunk. Say you for a wedding, and now he's uh, uh. Show me an invitation. I need at least a wedding invitation. <laughs> like, oh no, 
Show me something that cooperates oh, with you, man. Yeah, man. You get you get caught up in that, man. It's hard. It's hard to to, it's to come, come back to come on, back man. Mm-hmm. I mean, unless you live in Detroit and your mayor is Mary and Barry. Yeah. Because well, oh. <laughs> <laughs> he, he he made it. Made, I, I just hope he can. Be, I mean, because he the dude name is Travis. The yeah. escort. Yeah. Travis. Well, according to Gillum, he was not. He was. He, he, was, he, he yeah. wasn't there for whatever they had going on. I don't know. How he ended up in the room though, or the meth. Yeah. But apparently, he had been suffering uh, from depression ever since his loss against DeSantis. Okay. And he brought up how he also witnessed, you know, alcoholism in his own family, and how that may have played a role. But you know, he he's going to rehab, which is. A step forward. A step forward. <laughs> we would say a step forward, and I hope because I, I liked him, and he and he represented a lot, you know, of the change I wanted to see in America. It's a shame that you know he has this blemish because they, you know, they always even if he comes back, they gonna you got to be perfect, yeah. bro. You got to be perfect when you black, bro. I uh, besides that, I don't mind you messing up, but there's some things I think are just like <laughs> a clear like no no, like you don't. If you if you ever in that if you the mayor of Tallahassee man, but like, you can't get nothing. You can't nothing like that, man. Nothing. It's gotta be nothing. it's gotta be some. Oh man, I accidentally paid for this, I didn't accidentally pay for this milk on my way out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's gotta, said, be, it's gotta not, be something small. Not man. being dr- called drunk in a hotel with a male escort like that's yeah. that's you know what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. But I'm I'm rooting for him. But he got he got a lot of therapy to go through. That's. <laughs> Cause he need to come to terms with some oh. stuff if that's was if that's was true. But it's but it do but but according to the guy, he said he he working as a, a nurse nurse practitioner now. Oh, so, so he had a career change. So maybe yeah. he was doing and that he just, he, through and school. And whatever the case whatever would be. it took. And his uh his what's name was took down, but he said he was engaged, happily engaged, and I don't think he does that anymore. It, I think it's this is his uh profile still up. Yeah. I think. Just the yeah. optics don't look good. Just the optics don't, <laughs> the look, optics good, don't look good. You know what I'm saying? He, they could have just really been friends for yeah. whatever the case may be. But. Getting, getting messed up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But I'm not, I'm not putting anything on my man. I just hope he... Hope he recovers. Yeah, hope he recovers, deals with whatever demons he needs to get through. And, we all got you know, demons. Come back stronger. I don't know what position he can get after that. I mean, but you know what I'm saying? I mean, like I, I said... I can't see him... I'm Like, I know there's politicians that have done way worse. Yeah, but he, he ain't... He ain't. When you're black, you got to be perfect, man. Not no, only no, that, no but position. not only that, but we don't have proof of the other things yet, of what other people have done. Yeah. I don't know, man. I done seen some stuff, man. And I be like, I don't know how they got off with this. I mean, but he can flip it, though, man. Look, look, I did some things I'm not proud of. I own up to him. The best way the best way to get out of a situation like that is just say, I'm sorry. I messed up. Yeah. I'm going to read. Like, what are you doing? I'm sorry I messed up. I'm going to read. Because it's, it's one thing, dude, but you on the job, though. You are, you are always the mayor of Tallahassee, man. You can't get caught like that. No. I not. You I cannot agree. not get caught like that, bro. I agree. I don't see. I wouldn't even. You, you know can't get I, caught slipping like that. You are in the high end with the homies. I, I know. I mean, yeah. don't, get in, don't get in my car with nothing. nothing. Nah. Don't get in the car with no. I ain't no mayor. I'll meet, yeah. meet you there. I'm I'm worse. I'll meet you there. Don't get in my car with nothing. Yeah. We all know drug dealers growing up, man. But what? you know, you at some point when you realize your paths are diverging, then you just tell you just get them the head nod and you keep it moving. You keep it moving. I understand. Man. And you understand. But see, a lot of them I'm, I'm cool with today, but I just hey man, don't get in my car with it. I, I, I see. I won't even do that because I don't know who you got beef with. Because I will fight you. I feel you on that too. But yeah, man. Hope you recover, man. I'm cool yeah. with it. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Andrew Gillum. Shout out, man. May he come back better and stronger. Now, that Rona. That Rona. That Ronan warrior. COVID-19. COVID-19, bro. It's doing doing numbers out here. It is. Italy is having it worse. Like, they hitting numbers like, they doing worse than China right now. You know what I, I think that may be? Out. You know what I think that may be? Well, what's up? I think Italy is a very, although I've never been there, I'm just basing this off, of, you know, what I know about, you know, because I know France is very, like, um, laissez-faire, very family-oriented. Like, they take breaks in the middle of the day to, like, make it a point. 
Mm -hmm. I assume Italy is something like that, family, you know, mm -hmm. oriented. So they always want to gather and stuff like that. Yeah. So before they realized it hit them, they had already, already swapped. It, it was already in the it was yeah. already in work. So when they finally went to quarantine, yeah. But we did. Yeah. <laughs> we hit that. Oh, we already man. been at the uh, cookout. But I don't know why it's getting worse, though, man. That's the thing, though. Like, it's, it's getting worse out of these stupid-ass kids looking bus seats. Oh, man. And going to hang out with their other bus-looking friends. You know what this, you know this has taught me, man? Uh, I don't know about no other country. I don't know I don't know about no other I can only speak for mine. Like, I didn't realize how dumb Americans were. Like, I didn't know the... the and I didn't know how close they was to me. <laughs> Because <laughs> you always think, oh, that's some dumb people. Yeah, yeah, so that's on over there. Nah, man. it's your little cousins putting TikTok videos up. Oh, man. Saying stupid stuff. People well, you work that, with. They were buying that damn toilet paper, bro. I could not figure it out. I was like, why they buying toilet paper? Do something, something I know. I, would, I got the research. I'm like, why the, I don't know why they, yeah. why they buying toilet paper. I mean, the stores are still open, bro. You can get some toilet paper later. They was bugging. Ain't nobody buying no beans. Ain't nobody buying no. <laughs> All the vitamins still on the shelf. Vitamins on the shelf, bro. Nobody trying to get no vitamin C. Nothing. Fresh produce still fooled up. Because even with that, it's an attempt to say I'm trying to get healthier. Buying toilet paper is not. It's not. It's just taking care of what come out of you. And I'm not even sure they knew that was like they was like, well, they buying toilet paper. I think I'm gonna buy a whole bunch of toilet. Paper. I see people fighting over toilet paper, and they already had like five, yeah. like twenty four roll I packs think, in them. I think that's just one of the things when people. See something on the news and they really don't know how to survive. So the first thing they go is, "What do I? What do I use every day? What do I need?" I don't and know, I don't want to be uncomfortable. Let me just rush out and get the first because the first thing they got was water, milk, and, milk, and toilet I see, paper. That's I see. in every crisis when they say we live in South Carolina and when we here it's about to be two inches of snow and everything gonna shut down. Where they go out and get? But I have really water seen, and milk. I, I, yeah, water, milk, bread. Water, milk, bread. bread rice, it's, beans. It's always they go to. But toilet paper to think they're gonna be safe from the virus or think the like the, one of the symptoms of the virus, from my knowledge, ain't even like diarrhea. I don't nothing. know. I don't think it was about the virus. I think they just thought everybody gonna buy toilet paper. And I, don't, I think I one don't, person you know. said something about how you can block off the virus or something with toilet paper. Or something to that degree, or something to that nature, some false information. And everybody ran with that. I think what it when it comes out, even when you buy that, buy the mask, it's like only one mask you can really get, and I think it's like N nineteen or some shit, mm -hmm. right? But you even with those, you got to get it fitted. Yeah, people. I think people just want it like want control, and the things they think they, they just want to feel like they in control. They, they in control yeah. of the situation. That's that's why I think it came I got, down. I got to, beans. I got bread. I got I milk. Got, I, yeah, I, I got, got toilet paper. Mask. I can survive. Yeah, I'm good. Need. But it's. it's is with but with the panic comes like with misinformation and the the seriousness of the disease the panic is like it overdoes the panic yeah and then it like the fear of what people are saying whether it be true or not can be accepted because I'm I'm fearful hmm. so I'm gonna do whatever I can I'm do do whatever I can to feel in like my I'm ideal doing power to get it yeah you know what I mean like that shit is stupid man. And I don't like how people criticize other people. Oh, you, oh now y'all washing y'all hands. Y'all should have been washing y'all hands. It's like, nah, people, you, well, I don't know about everybody. I don't know about everybody now. But people usually wash their hands. At least I do. Yeah. I use wash my hands, but now I have to do it more frequently. Yeah. I have to do it after every encounter because I don't know where that person being or whatever. Like, and now it's fifth months in this. Yeah. Like when I go through a drive through and I get something out the window, oh man, I don't know what they've been through. Yeah, I, gotta, I, I may need to hit that. Yeah. Got to keep that. Oh, sanitizer's gone. Yes. Oh, what? I couldn't find a sanitizer what? to save my life. I, I went to like five stores, nothing. But I think the fear is creating like it's it just like it made me realize how stupid humans. Do you do are. you think the fear is warranted? Because I think I think we do need to take this serious, but I also I do not think it's the end of the world. No, I don't think it's the end of the world. I do think we need to take precaution. Like precaution is needed. Yeah. yeah. Do wash your hands. Do after every do encounter. Whatever. Well, get, here's get the sanitizer. Here's some things you can do, according to the CDC, because that's that's where I get my information from. It's basically a couple things you can do to increase the uh, well decrease uh, by a lot the chance of uh, contracting uh, COVID nineteen or coronavirus. You gotta clean your hands often. Mm -hmm. Avoid uh, close contact if you can. Within six feet. Stay at home if you're sick. Please do. Don't come out. Yeah, don't bring your Cover your coughs and sneezes. Yeah, not with your hands, yeah. though. 
And wear a face mask if you are sick if or you, taking care of the sick. If you are sick, yeah. bro. The mask really don't protect you from getting sick, bro. Right. Just so you know, the mask, the, the, the regular mask that doctors wear, they only wear those so they don't get that, like, when they're doing surgery and stuff of that nature, they don't infect the open wounds of other people. Right. So, like, even with that, I mean, it, with that, I didn't know that. So yeah. I, had, I had to find that information. Like like I told you, it's only like one mask well, you get that's Well, that's um, something about the Chinese culture I learned uh, a while back. Mm -hmm. we, we always see them with the mask and stuff. We're like, why are they doing that? They must yeah. be afraid of getting sick. But then I learned it's because they're being courteous and that they're actually sick and they mm -hmm. don't want to spread it. Yeah. That's why they wear the mask. And I was like, oh, that's dope. I never knew that. Yeah, so, so I was like, yeah, well, that makes sense. really don't do nothing for you unless you're sick and you're trying to protect yeah. everybody else. Because Especially, even when you take the mask off, and like most time they're gonna get through it anyway, or if it's around it, it's just a, it's just a, a area, a reservoir of, of disease on your face yeah. anyway. So when you take it off, all you're doing is taking it off, and it's in your hands now. Yeah, and now you, and now it's on your face. So, also, the way the virus spreads is from person to person through respiratory droplets produced when an infected person coughs or sneezes, and symptoms may appear two to fourteen days after exposure. And include fever, cough, or shortness of breath. And it also usually only affects the lower part of the respiratory system. Not saying it can't affect the upper part, but most of the time it affects the lower part of it. Mm -hmm. And also it has come to the point to where it's like, even though you're not showing signs, it can actually like shred like in the area that you're at right. off of you. you know I think it's I think as of March 8, 19, about 10,500 reported cases have been uh, reported in the U.S. and we've had 150 deaths. Now I'm not sure of like the. You said 10,000. Yeah, it's uh, 10,500 mm -hmm. cases in the U.S. but 150 deaths. Now I'm not sure. You know the demographics of those deaths. I'm assuming they're either like young or old. They say they, or, they say it usually don't bother the the, the young. I listen to this uh, guy uh, on CNN. He has like a podcast. Mm -hmm. They usually don't bother the, the young for whatever reason. So is. just more of the old and people that have uh, some type of uh, you know like some problem of, with their immune system. Yeah, yeah. Uh, a problem with the immune system: heart disease, diabetes, autoimmune disease. Uh, if you have a weak immune system, it's usually those are people that's gonna mess up more. Mm -hmm. Or when you're older, because when you get older, your immune system is weak. Because even now, like we fighting off. Uh, pathogens now, like constantly, constantly, and we don't know because we don't affect it. That's why when you hear like people that have like AIDS or HIV that die from like weird stuff, like or like stuff that that just the would cold. normally, yeah, yeah, just the cold, like they would normally be easily for your immune system to fight off. Uh, that's that's who is affecting more. And yeah. you know the chances of like even if we get it, because you can get it and still not get sick. Fact. But you can still be pass it on, pass yeah. it on to somebody yeah. you else. Can be a carrier, you know. And I think the fact that you know. People with compromised immune system and elderly is why we also need to take precautions. Because I see, yeah, I haven't seen my mother since. Yeah, so I and and, and so I think we also need to think about them as well. Because I see a lot of people, it ain't affecting me. I don't care. I ain't gonna die. Even if I get mother. it, yeah, if she going, if she yeah, gonna take man. It. I don't seen people say, man, I don't even believe in it, man. The government trying to do it. the government. See, that is another problem. You know what I don't like? Because that, that, again, that goes back to what, we, what I was talking about, like just the misinformation, right? Like people don't know, like SARS was a, uh, was, SARS and was it MERS, 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 I think. Yeah, SARS and MERS, they are both like COVID, like they are both coronavirus. Yeah. Fun fact: the reason why it's called coronavirus is because when you look on it under a microscope, uh, there's proteins above the virus that look like crown, Corona. Crown. In that wow. Spanish for crown? Mm hmm. All right. Fun fact. <laughs> the more you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see if I can put that in there. <laughs> yeah. And then I've seen a lot of people like attacking Asian people or like, you know. I'm not saying that's okay, but I understand. I don't even understand. When, that. when you say attack, what do you mean? Putting their hands on. No, no, no. I'm, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about like, like you know, jokingly saying something or saying. Them. Oh, everybody gonna get these yeah, jokes. Yeah, everybody, I said, yeah. but I'm saying like they like. No, I haven't seen that. Or like though. making their lives harder. No, physically no, no. I haven't seen like it. I haven't going seen after that. them, like hard. I did hear one thing was I think it was Which like is, a, a bus that had like people on it. They left. Like, they had got off the bus and went to go take a break, and then they left the Asian people on like. They left them there. Yeah. Now stuff like that. That's stuff is stuff is like you. 
I understand that, you know, if we had originated in China, I get that, you know what I'm saying? But we still have to practice compassion yeah, man, for, like, people who are a different race and come from different backgrounds and, you know, ageism, all that stuff. It don't make no damn sense, man. People, well, that's, that's people I mean. that you grew up with, you know your homeboy ain't even from Asia, but, <laughs> he, but he's still this catching man, the heat, bro. Like, <laughs> this man from Asia stayed in Oregon. Ain't yeah. never bothered nobody. Ain't in no affected area. Y'all gonna you treat shake him like shit. You shake his head every day, you know but all of a sudden, yeah. Yeah, man. Nah, nah, you, you doing this to us. It's yeah. your people. And then, Come you know, on, you man. see your boy Trump talking about it's a Chinese virus. What? See, that's that slight. That's that's how they do it. That's how they that's do how it. That's how you man. do it. You just add the word Chinese. It's like, well, it did come to China. It come yeah, to China. Yeah, 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 they did, but you know what you're doing. You yeah, say. you know what you're doing. You, you know say that, man. What if we did that? What yeah. if everybody else did that? Also, fun fact a lot of these viruses, like COVID 19, they come from animals and they evolve and they go to, they jump from human, but they jump from animal to human. The more you know. The more you know. And this one, uh, is likely to come from bats. I thought when, like, I thought that animals carry it, and they do go through some mutation. Mm -hmm. But then it's the it's the mutation. Like once they get in like the first holes or something, it's the mutation. Then that's like really start messing us up. Mm -hmm. Or is it either or? Oh, uh, I, I I don't know now because I ain't get that far in it. But I'm gonna say I believe like. Cause I don't, I, I'm only assuming. We need to find. Really don't know. We need to find the first host but you and see, take them out. But you see like how they vampire. Eat. But you, see, <laughs> but you see how they. <laughs> but you see how people eat bats and stuff like that. But that's um, what I'm saying. It came from a bat. Yeah. Now all of a sudden people drop it. Ideally, it came from a bat. We gotta take the head vampire out. Everybody else. I, that, that's, I mean, that makes sense. Man. Everybody, Castlevania. But ideally, that's what, it, like, a lot of animals, but in fact, they study animals with certain type of diseases, and they see that, can they make a vaccine for those uh, diseases? And if that that uh, if that virus in that animal animal mutates and is able to jump from a human, hmm. what will happen, and, and if, and can we make a vaccine for it? So people already study stuff like this. It just, this is something that happens. This, this is what happens in life. Like, this is what happen, happens in the world. Mm. This ain't the first time we had like a, a, a pandemic of like nah, pandemic this of disproportion. Is, it's not even, it's nowhere near the world. It is not, it's not even the bad. For like, all these the people world. that be saying, oh man, it's the end of the world. This is it, man. I want to see how you would have reacted during the Middle Ages. Because <laughs> when the it plague? was the plague, bro. Bro, people was getting up out the of here, Spanish bro. Spanish flu. What? People Millions. getting up out of here. The sauce was bad. Sauce. The flu now. Bruh. People always thought it was a man made the government. Yeah. Anybody making If you would have saw, if you would have saw the, that bubonic boy, you would have. <laughs> <laughs> so you would have took yourself you out. You would have took yourself what? out. Bro, yeah, people be like, people be like, people be like, I've seen people blaming on 5G. Like the, uh, the, the Wi Fi? Like the, the Wi Fi. The signal? Yeah. And, and to, to those people, I kind of get where they coming from because they, you know, it, those is a conspiracy theory. Like, be mindful that. There's diseases out here that can. That, that's what I'm talking. Misinformation. Yeah, I don't like that. I don't like conspiracy theorists as much as I don't. As much as I don't like people that like actually do the, the dirt because once you once you bring out a conspiracy theory, and it and it and it garners attention. Yeah. People latch on to that and yeah. miss what's actually going on. Going on. Cause you cause you think you know your five G signal is giving is gonna get you. Well, if I ain't got the satellite, then you know what I'm saying. Yeah. You know, it's gonna fret me. Like th that's what I'm saying. Like these people just say like the wildest things, bro. And I don't even know if these people are genuine when they coming up with these they, ideas. They are. You can't. You argue with them. You you might as well just leave it alone, bro. If you get to argue with one of them, they'll just start bringing up crazy stuff, bro. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't. Like I don't. I just don't trust people who who are too far in one direction. And then they try to incorporate. What I also don't like is how people try to incorporate the time of something happening to whatever's going on now. Oh yeah. Like just to say, like right now, like Lent is going on right now, or a lot of people is about to start Lent or the Passover, whatever you want to call it. So it's funny how this happened on the Passover, or today could be anything. Like, or today is National Girlfriend Day. It's funny how this happened on National Girlfriend. Girlfriend. It could be Christmas. <laughs> it could be the Fourth of July. It could be uh, November. It could be anything. It could be a full moon, half moon. It, they gonna find a way to find relate a way this incident to, to something that's major. And I hate that. Bro. It's like what I heard people. Uh, it, <laughs> it's like pseudoscience, man. When I hear people be like, "Man, you think." You you see the moon has this much effect on uh, uh, the oceans, water, how it moves, and you don't think the moon has an effect on us? Cause we <laughs> and then they're like we we seventy percent water. There's some people in the astro <laughs> astrology say, yeah, like come on, bro, right? <laughs> like 
Like, come on, bro. Ain't no way. This got to be a joke. And look, I'm not here to say, you know, it is or isn't. I doubt it. But you know what I'm saying? Regardless talking of that. about a large mass of water. <laughs> <laughs> and you think your little, what you got, two gallons? <laughs> it's just being pulled. I think the first person said it's a joke, but somebody. Somebody said, just rocked with it, bro. Yeah, somebody yeah. just rocks with that stuff, like dog. Bro, it just it just is it just blows my mind. Misinformation. Bro. The misinformation may be worse more than dangerous. Disease. Yeah. Oh, you about to say that? Yeah. My guy. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Oh, you missed the other side. Man. I can't do it. Because you should have done it with that side. It, it wasn't comfortable like that. <laughs> <laughs> The misinformation it, it creates that stupid. The shit, misinformation man. is the disease, bro. Well, bro, that should be why. Like it's this, a symptom. I wish people could just focus on the disease. Like I also seen now. Nah, now nah, this is this. I don't know. It seems it's one of them things. I'd be like, okay, that's crazy. When air, all everybody stepped down at the kind of like the same time. Who's who's stepping down? Like Bill Gates stepped down. Another person from like. Oh yeah, that was weird. Yeah, yeah, that was weird. Yeah, I don't you know, know what's going there. on. With that. I seen people saying something about uh, Harvey Weinstein. Did something with like sex trafficking and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. No, but okay. If if how do you think the sex trafficking business is going right now? I think that's on low two right now. <laughs> the, every industry is every hit. industry hit. I want to. I, I, I don't think people playing about that, man. They, they I think they cracking down yeah. on it. I think I was writing about um, the old Platinum Plus. They yeah. had took the sign down. Yeah. Again. So I'm thinking, like, what? Are, like, what are people like that? Is like. Stripping and stuff like what is you seen in Las Vegas? Uh, they had uh, they doing drive through or uh, like uh, window dances or something like new window dances or something. Yo, Amsterdam right now, the red light district. Mm-hmm. I wonder how they making money. I don't know. Every industry. I don't know. Cause I know around here, like we st- it's still open. Like if you go to like a restaurant, you gotta go through the drive through and all that. Mm-hmm. But it's still nah. I went to Moe's still today. Open. Yeah. And I went, I went in. It was good money. Yeah, I didn't even think because Moe's on. Do Moe have a drive through? Nah. Yeah, so you, yeah. as though you can't stay, but no, you I can't stay. No, you no, get, I get like, out. Like, yeah, no, going ain't nobody in here. Welcome to Moe's. Everybody was chilling. Like what you think going on? Man? Yeah. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, I forgot. <laughs> <about> Cowboys. <laughs> <laughs> you know somebody gonna name their child Cowboy. I, sorry, done. You man. know it's you know it's happening, especially the ones that got pregnant during this time. Yeah, it's gonna happen. Imagine if you had you had did your due 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 diligence. You saved up your money, finally bought you a building, got all your stuff right, opened your little business, and then then this happened. Oh yeah, oh yeah. That's partly me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't meet all the criteria, bro. But I meet over 50 yeah. percent of that. that. I can only imagine how crushing that can be if you work your whole life. You finally get what you. Oh, my whole yeah. yeah. And now then, that, now that hurt. It is. It hurt. That's I a, think, but I also think times like this, 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 it's a when stuff like this happens, like say the stock market down, stuff like that. It's easy for people to come up. If you know how to capitalize off, you know, uh, stuff like this. You you good like stock market go down. You got enough money to put put but in. A lot market, of people don't. It's going up. You a lot of people I mean? don't have the knowledge or the capital to do. This is the best much. time. This yeah. is the best time to do, it, especially if we get those checks. This is the best time to you know sit home and figure out you know what I need to do. Why I need to, so just in case like if this incident happens again, will I be better prepared for it? This this is yeah. If you this, if you if you can uh, get back on your feet, man. Because I know a lot of places outside of like restaurants and like grocery stores and stuff like that shut down. Yeah, I know. In my job yesterday, they let eight people go. For real? So that's what I'm saying. That's, that's I might hurt. not have a job next week. You always got mine to get, dog. Mine to get. Y'all need to <laughs> y'all need to subscribe. <laughs> y'all, need to, y'all need to become patrons. For real, mm-hmm. bro. But I, I say like five dollars go a long way. Long way. But like this this is the time for people to to really sit back and realize analyze where they at. See, and, that's where I think. push forward. I think it's Let's talk about the good things about coronavirus. I think this is a good time for people to reflect. And and my most favorite thing about what's going on is because it just exposes the, the the weaknesses we have in this country. Oh, yeah, barbaric at times. But we still got those, like, How, animal yeah. instincts in us, man. That's, that's, that's why I see this one quote that was saying, like, don't y'all ever make fun of both people and, like, people that struggle to get over here, immigrants and stuff like that. Yeah. 
Because look at y'all now. Those people go through war and like, you know what I'm saying, genocide, stuff like that. And look how y'all act over a disease that may or may not kill you or you even be affected. Mm. You feel what I'm saying? I thought that hit home. Animals, like, man. Oh, that made sense, though. Cause a little trouble. And you see and see how you really are. What? And our systems, our systems are not built to handle something like this. Also, that's the crazy part. Like, because uh, uh, Trump got rid of the pandemic uh, office, and then he blamed it. And then, no, you said I didn't. I ain't do that. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. He was like, I ain't do that. I don't know anything about it. Tony, you know something about it? <laughs> <laughs> I thought he was in the back, like, <laughs> I ain't even know that was coming. <laughs> hey, you might as well, you up there. You know what I'm saying? Don't try to get on me, I, play, See, if people really paid attention, if it's something good happened, even if he, which I doubt he has anything to do with anything that's happened behind the scene, he'll jump out <laughs> in front of that thing, like, yeah, my, the administration did a good job. Yeah. I headed it, blah, blah, blah. Soon as it's something negative, he distanced himself quick. I don't even know nothing about it. Yeah, I'm the president. He and would I leave, should know. He would leave. He yeah. would leave with one comment. I ain't had nothing to do with it. I ain't next. had nothing to do with it. next. And walk off. But you the I president. Mean, I mean, and this your administration is directly over this. He's like, I ain't you gotta this. sign that off. Well, I ain't sign nothing. How how are you how are you the president and you don't know about something as important that? And that's why we're in trouble. That's why the test kits are not out the way it's supposed to be. That's why we 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 uh get I, think, I wanna say I can't can. wanna say respirators. Yeah, uh, you said get what? When you can get tested, I say this also: if you don't, if you're not sick and you just worried that you might be sick, don't get tested because there are people out here that will be sick, and they don't have enough testing kits to test everybody. Mm. So though you may or may not have it, if you're doing fine or if you're young, just please consider those people that are older than you or people that may have like an autoimmune disease or a weak immune system first, because they need to be in line first before you. Mm. Cause we don't, they don't have enough to 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 do the testing. They don't have. I was saying like stuff like in Italy, they were saying like, uh, they have like, they have to do like stuff outside. And you know, I want to keep on saying respirators. What the mask to help people breathe? Mm-hmm. Uh, they running out, so they have to choose on if this person be able to live or not. Right. Well, he's yeah. older, so he may not make it. So he's younger, or he's older, and we may have to give him one instead of this young kid over here who's got bad symptoms, but. He's, he, like, he's, he's more like he's more like to make through. it than this yeah. person over here because we don't have enough. That's why you need that type of like those type of offices in in your in, in your squad because you know what I'm saying if you don't shit like this happen mm-hmm. and then we all out of order. We have been late to test. We have been late to this bullshit that we were, we were just through. not prepared. Nah, not and at all. And it was a, it was I don't know if the administration was trying to downplay it at first and not cause panic. Or if they just didn't. Well, you know how Trump is, man. He was like, no, nah, we got it under control. We'll be over this in a few. Yo, y'all need to. The way he talks that. is with like no <laughs> measure of control. It's just extreme. like, And he doesn't ever say anything of substance. That's the, that's the beauty of it. That's how you can create, create a cult. You you talk to the extreme ambiguous. like It's never, yo, we got a handle of it. I mean, set proper expectations like, oh. Uh, you know what I'm saying? We got 15 cases. It's going to be down to zero yeah. like next week. Bam. Like, How you going to do it? Like, we got it. Come on, next <laughs> week. Or not even a couple days later. Hey, we, hey. we in trouble. <laughs> 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 we in trouble. <laughs> like, Stay I, inside. And then, be, and then he tried to but I'm taking it serious since the beginning. Since the beginning. Yeah. I knew I knew what to do since the beginning. I like, nah, he tripping, said man. that because he thought it was just, this was the Chinese disease and it was going to blow up. <laughs> I think we get like 80% of our drugs or something from China. It's a large portion of our medication that comes from China. Yeah, China's getting better though. Yeah, China, because yeah. China locked everybody in, started spraying aerosol through the streets, out of these trucks. <laughs> but I seen us putting speakers on the side, bro. Y'all better stay in, fam. They <laughs> put speakers. I like, bro, that, <laughs> hey, you got to do what you got to do. See, America ain't going to do nothing like that. Because soon, like I told you, I had people tell me, that, uh, I don't like the government trying to tell us that we can't go out and do it. I said, the government should not tell you that. And if government do have to tell you that, then good for the government. Mm-hmm. They're going to have to tell you. If you have to tell me to stay inside, that's different when I don't know. Hey, man, that stuff is catchy. Y'all stay your ass inside. Stay inside so you don't get it. Nobody two weeks, it'll pass over. Or three weeks, it'll pass over. No, the government trying to get me in the house and so they can do martial law and take my guns. <laughs> what? See, the problem, The one of the issues with what? Americans is... The the thing that drives us and the thing that holds us back is the same thing. Because America in the whole as a whole has this I'm free to do whatever I want. Don't tell me what to do. 
is that whole attitude. Mm-hmm. Don't tell me what to do. Because I'm going to do the opposite. Yeah, I'm going to do the opposite. Even if it's like better a, for like me. A like a kid. Like a damn like, yeah. child, bro. If you tell, them what the, you tell the Americans what to do, it'll be like, okay, watch this. And they'll just pull it from anywhere. They're going to yeah. take my gun. They're going to take your gun. I'm trying to keep you alive. Like, you <laughs> I'm trying to keep everybody else alive. Like, if you want to die, kill yourself. My man is like, I'm not even thinking about your guns, but since you said but something, since you about, said something about the guns, yeah, I'm going to take your guns. Don't infect everybody else. That's, yeah. that's that's the main issue, bro. And that's why I try to tell people, even Hard if you head. feel like you're not going to get sick or even if you feel like you'll survive, somebody that you may be next to won't. That's the bigger issue here. I heard Canada has a vaccine already. Or they were able to isolate the, the disease, which I think is the first step to a vaccine. I know. think you got to target it specifically so it only affects that. So I mm-hmm. guess when you figure out how to isolate it, then you can figure out how to. I mean, that's gonna be a hard thing. Get that out of here. I, I listened to this uh, guy. He said, "Man, and usually with vaccines, it takes uh, it takes like a couple months of testing, mm-hmm. and then uh, it takes twelve to eighteen months to get it. It takes for as far as testing, getting it approved, and making sure it work. It takes twelve to eighteen months." Mm. I'm here now. Think I'm here now that you know this this whatever state we in might last till July August. I mean, sure. I mean, even with that, also with that, because people don't know. I think it was either with the swine flu or SARS. People thought it was the heat that usually kill off stuff like that. There's no evidence of that. It's gonna kill like the this virus, the coronavirus. Uh, but usually, the idea of it is like uh, they say it's either the heat or it's the fact that children wasn't around each other. It's mm. summertime or. People not around each other, but as soon as school started back up when the fall hit, the numbers went back up. Mm. So that's that's a theory. It's either the heat or it's the fact that people not around each other that right. much. Well, kids at the time because during that time was the because if you can kids if more. you isolate yourself long enough to to heal from it, it'll, it'll die in your system. It'll die in your system. But you know what I'm saying it's gonna take a few to get back to each other, and then I'm touching here, I'm touching Timmy. I think he, that's why I think I think it was smart of the school system to be like we're gonna take two weeks off. Yeah, because either either you gonna either you have it and you are gonna show symptoms by the time before you go back, mm-hmm. or you you pretty much what I just said. I thought I had another point, but that was it. Yeah, yeah, that's if you, it. If you've already contracted it, you either already gonna show symptoms before you come back, so you are gonna know not to go mm-hmm. back to school, or it's gonna develop uh, sometime during it. I think that's a good idea, but if you're not gonna do it as a whole, then it doesn't it doesn't matter. I seen like stores closing down for like an hour or or out like two hours, like we're gonna we're gonna close early. Well, the people that was got there coming later, those two hours, they're gonna just gonna come earlier. Mm-hmm. So when people are still coming. So even though you shut down school, what if I have my daughter or have my, my kid or my teenager and we going to the store together? In the in on the second week. So on the second week, I got it now. So when I go back to school the next week, I still got it and I can still pass it. If you shut out everything to keep everybody from everybody, and then you have those two weeks to where you can get over it or show signs that you got something. And then you can go this person go to the hospital, that person go to the oh, hospital. Oh, we can't do that. But if you just shut down the school, I mean that ideally, I wish that would work. I wish everybody would stay to the hospital. I think that I think it will do something. Now it's gonna hurt. It's gonna work a little bit. But I think I think it, it'll I think I think it'll do I think it'll do quite a bit of good. I don't know. Cause you'll you'll see you'll see what's going on when the kids get back. Yeah, maybe. and and I think they just did it as a measure to like we don't know what's happening. Yeah, right I think yeah. We need to well, do we need something. To do something. <laughs> <laughs> we need to do something. Can we it. understand what's going on by the time they get back? Like okay, y'all just stay out two more yeah. weeks or something like <laughs> yeah, that. Sorry. We just need a pause. To I seen some people that can't school for the whole year for the rest of the year. Yeah, I want to. I don't want to say text. That that know. whole that's gonna cause ripple effects, man. Cause that yeah, whole thing, I know, I know college students that are about to graduate. You know, <clears> athletes <throat> who are eligible for like in the NBA. And yeah, the, they said the, they said they give them one more year. I think they said something about giving them one more year mm-hmm. eligibility. That whole, that whole. And then I was, I was talking to this dude at where he also is a teacher at a college, and I was like, they talking about shutting the uh, schools down for the rest of the semester. So I was like, so are the colleges going to front them another semester for yeah. free? Yeah. Like, how is that going to work? Because yeah. I shouldn't have to pay. Yeah. I already paid for this semester. They ain't going to do that. So They might like, do how it. Does, how does that work? Damn, that's good. That's a, now, that's a cold case. <laughs> <laughs> that's a cold case, though, boy. Like, the ripple effects, you think something like this happens. It's, like, it's, hitting, it's hitting everybody in different ways. People Bro. losing jobs. People losing opportunities. 
But I seen Las Vegas, but like, I seen Las Vegas shut everything down. <laughs> All the lights. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. But I think humans, but I think, I can't say humans, Americans, uh, from what I've seen, man, they just, they just, I don't know, they just, they focus on the wrong things, man. Like, if we just put focus on, on this instead of trying to figure out what's, what's going on here, what's going on there, if we just focus on the things that we can't control, I think we'll get further. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but I don't know. That's a that's, that's a stretch. I guess we'll see, man. I guess we'll see. You got Let's anything see. else? Oh, uh, want to do a philosophy question? Like what? I'm not sure, man. Do you want to do one? No, I'm good for the day. <laughs> I'm good. I'm good for the day. All right, all right. Um, thank you for making it through the episode. If you made it this yep. far, again, I'm Darius. I'm TK. Um, and what uh, how to. The contest. Make sure comment, you leave a comment. Leave a comment uh, of your favorite episode, why you like us, and we'll pick the, our favorite one. Make sure you share it, too. Yeah. Share it to your socials. Final thoughts. Um, Tell Chad I said, what's up? Why you messing up the shoot, dog? Probably telling me not to uh, come in tomorrow. Prior to telling you five. <laughs> it might be, though. Why are you bullshitting? Damn, how long your shit stay on? I got some bad news, bud. <laughs> like, bro, you're not getting this laptop back. Say <laughs> so it's over. We good money. Mm-hmm. Have we been oh, recording? Yeah. yeah. All right, I see you. I see you. Final but, thoughts, um, be, be compassionate, be considerate. These are trying times right now. Hey, man, social distancing. You know I mean, distance yourself from everybody else for a little while. Uh, like you say, be considerate. Uh, think of others. Others. Uh, wash your damn hands. That's it. That's it. Don't hey, don't be spreading out you know, another thing. No information, fam. Bad information. Don't spread that shit out. Another thing is is asocial, not antisocial. Antisocial Thank is you. to be against been saying being that. social. It's asocial. You've been saying yeah. that. Oh, you know how I'm antisocial? No, you're not. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> hey, look, man, mm-hmm. just be mindful. I've been living in quarantine. I'm asocial. I'll be I'm antisocial. All right, whatever, cuz. We out, man. We Mind out. the gap, man. Mind, Mind the, the gap. gap, man. Mind the gap.